Let's briefly take a look at the different stages of aquatic insects that fish eat. First of all, after an aquatic insect hatches from the egg, it becomes either a nymph or a larva. It's here that it spends most of its life and therefore can be very important to the fly fisherman. Nymphs and larvae are generally found on or around the stream bottom. When mother nature tells that nymph or larva it's time to become an adult, it either crawls or swims to the surface. We call this stage an emergent stage or in complete life cycles we call that a pupa. This can also be very important to the fish because they're swimming to the surface, sometimes attaching themselves to the surface film, struggling to get out of their nymphal shock. The adult stage can also be important. After the nymph or larva hatches or emerges from its shuck, a lot of times they'll ride on the surface of the water, making themselves very available to the fish. Also, adults will come back to the water to lay eggs, or in the case of mayflies, they have a separate stage called the spinner stage. Essentially, these are the mating stages, and most of these aquatic insects die or fall spent on the water after laying their eggs, again making themselves readily available to be fed upon. The four basic food groups, or the four main categories of aquatic insects, are your mayflies, your caddisflies, your stoneflies, and your midges. But there's certainly a lot of other food sources that can be very important to fish, such as damselflies and dragonflies, scuds and shrimp, terrestrials like ants, beetles, grasshoppers, and crickets, bait fish, fish eat other fish, and crayfish. It is important for you to determine what the primary food source is at any particular time of year. This will definitely help you be a better fly fisher. Aquatic insects go through two types of different life cycles. The first is complete life cycle or complete metamorphosis. These insects are the caddisflies and the midges. They start off as an egg and hatch into a larva. This is where they spend most of their life. The larva then matures and pupates. Most of them build a case or cocoon to pupate in. Then, when Mother Nature tells them it's time, that pupa swims to the surface, attaches itself to the surface film, and breaks out of that to become the adult. We often hear that referred to as the emergence. That adult will then fly off into the trees and later return to mate and lay its eggs. The second type of life cycle is called incomplete metamorphosis. These flies are the mayflies and the stoneflies. They also start off as an egg, but hatch into a nymph. Now the difference here is these flies do not pupate. The nymph simply swims to the surface as the emerger, attaches itself to the surface film, and hatches into the adult. In the case of mayflies, the mayflies will often ride on the surface of the water, making themselves readily available to the fish. The adult will later fly back to the water mate and lay their eggs. In the case of mayflies, we have a separate stage there that's called the spinner. A spinner can be very important to fly fishermen. Well, I don't know about you all, but that's about as much education as I can take for the time being. So let's take a break. Sit back, relax. I'm going to show you some home video of salmon fishing in one of my favorite places on earth, Alaska. Come on, let's go. Set in. I'm in Alaska. I've dreamed all my life about being here. Here we are. I'm glad we did it. <laughs> and we're in good company, too. Now, let's get that bear back out here. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Just slide him. Or I can just walk the boat. Whatever you want. 
matter. Doesn't matter as long as you end this pain soon. It's <laughs> a good pain. It's a great pain, man. My, my upper body's aching right now. I love it. Come on, I feel like I'm playing a tarpon. I mean, really. <laughs> didn't like that gravel on her belly. Yeah, it looked like a combination. <laughs> oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> A little attitude. Now that's exactly what a king can do to you. All right. Turn that one into orbit. <laughs> Not a many fish that can. Now the question is, is, should we help or should we just sit here and video this? <laughs> I've gotten myself into this mess. I'm gonna get myself. Uh huh. I guess we know what broke the rod, don't we? Right there. Woohoohoo! Hi. Thank you, Dan. Thank you, Cat My Lodge, Alaska. From the looks of my rod, that's it for me. If you like this video, hit subscribe. It helps out a lot. And check out these videos. We think you might like them too.